My name is Kenneth Berger and I help families across South Carolina who have been affected by nursing home negligence. I made this video to help you answer the question of whether or not your loved one's nursing home can be held accountable for a fall that happened at their facility. Now, a lot of times a nursing home is going to claim that a senior citizen's fall was simply unpreventable. Sometimes that's true, but other times it's not. Nursing home facilities have to perform what is known as a fall risk assessment plan. In other words, if your loved one has a history of falls or has some type of health condition that puts them at greater risk, there have to be safeguards in place to protect that senior. In fact, the nursing home is receiving money in return for providing care and when they fall short, oftentimes they must be held accountable. The harm caused by falls can range from bruising to fractured hips to dislocated shoulders, all the way up to fractured skulls and what are known as subdural hematomas or bleeding on the brain. In cases we've handled in the past, that bleeding on the brain may go undiagnosed for a week or even two. And at times we've seen cases result in death because the fracture in the blood simply was never properly diagnosed. If you have questions about a loved one's fall and the facility or their insurance company is saying that the fall was simply unpreventable, don't always take them at their word. Allow us to help you dig a little deeper, find the facts, and determine whether or not more could have been done to keep your loved ones safe. Like I mentioned, we've helped families across South Carolina. We look forward to serving yours as well. Contact us today to find out how we can help. I look forward to speaking to you personally.